Hello everyone. In our previous video lectures, we discussed Fourier series expansions in the interval 0, 2 pi and minus pi, plus pi for continuous functions and also for periodic functions. Now, in this video lecture, we will discuss the same type of problems for discontinuous functions. Before jumping into the class, let me take a couple of minutes to explain some conditions. These conditions are important for one mark questions and for online bits too. In explaining these conditions, I'll show you some graphs to make you easy to understand. Okay, now let's see the first slide. Conditions for Fourier expansion. And these conditions also familiar with the name Dirichlet conditions. A function f of x has a valid Fourier series expansion that is f of x equal to a naught by 2 plus sigma n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus b n sin n x where a naught, a n, b n are the Fourier coefficients. These will be provided if it satisfies the following simple three conditions. Let us see the first condition. What it is? It is nothing but f of x is well defined, periodic, single valued and finite. This is your first condition. You are all familiar with this terminology. So, let us move to the second important condition. What it is? f of x has finite number of finite discontinuities in any one period. Isn't it? Here, in order to understand this one, please observe the graph on this point. Here, on x-axis, we consider the fundamental period, capital T, and on y-axis, we took y of t, the function y of t. If you observe this graph, here you will see 1, 2, 3. There are 3 discontinuities. That means we have finite number of discontinuities in this graph. This is clearly a discontinuous graph. This is your graph. On x-axis, we are taking the fundamental period capital T. And on y-axis, you are taking the function y of t. This is your graph. Make it dotted lines. If you observe the interval 0, comma pi, you have three discontinuous points. First one is at here. And second one is at here and third one is at here in between 0, 5. You have a finite number of finite discontinuities in any one period. Is it clear to all? Now, see the third point. f of x has at most finite number of maxima and minima in the given interval of definition. Here in this graph, if you take interval 0, comma t by 2, you will observe a maximum point at here. And also, if you take one more interval, t by 2, comma 3, t by 2, you will observe one minima here. So, f of x has at most a finite number of maxima and a finite number of minima in a mentioned interval. So, the three points, the three conditions which we have discussed are sufficient only but not necessary. And hence, we can conclude that we can also apply the Fourier series expansions for discontinuous functions. Is it clear? Now, move to the next concept, how to define a discontinuous function. See the next slide. 
A function f of x is defined in such a way that in the interval c comma c plus 2 pi it was defined as phi of x when x lies between c to x naught. Psi of x if x lies between x naught to c plus 2 pi. That means observe this graph. If you take x naught is a point of discontinuity and your function f of x is defined such a way that phi of x from c to x naught that is pq and psi of x from x naught to c plus 2 pi that is rx means you have one discontinuity point for this function so it was defined in such a way that phi of x and psi of x split it into two parts that is one is phi of x and psi of x now how we define a Fourier series expansion for this discontinuous function? What will be your formula? Let us see the formula first. Your formula for discontinuous function is f of x equals to a naught by 2 plus sigma n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus b n sin n x. Now, here the coefficients are a naught equals to 1 by pi, what is our interval? c comma c plus 2 pi. It was split into c to x naught, that is c to x naught and from x naught to c plus 2 pi. So, I will write the formula for a naught as 1 by pi integral c to x naught pi of x dx plus x naught to c plus 2 pi psi of x dx. We can also write for a n and b n. What is your a n formula? a n equals to 1 by pi c to x naught phi of x cos n x dx plus x naught to c plus 2 pi psi of x cos n x dx and b n equals to 1 by pi integral c to x naught phi of x sin n x dx plus integral x naught to c plus 2 pi psi of x sin nx dx. Is it clear? Now, one important point. You have to observe these two points. See the first one. If x is the point of continuity of f of x, then your Fourier series expansion will be, that means the right hand side will be converges to f of x. That is, f of x equals to a naught by 2 plus sigma n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus b n sin n x. Suppose if the point is a point of discontinuity, the point x or x naught, whatever it may be we mentioned, is a point of discontinuity, then our Fourier series will become as half f of x naught plus 0 plus f of x naught minus 0. Nothing but the left hand side and the right hand side limit. The average of the left hand side and the right hand side limits is equals to a naught by 2 plus sigma n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus b n sin n x. That means this right hand side part is converges to your average of left hand and right hand side limits at the point of discontinuity. Now, we will move to the problems.